it's Robin and I am here to talk to you today about one of the things that I think is most important in terms of energy and that is what you put into your body and what you eat. And I'm super passionate about nutrition and, and clean eating and how uh, that can affect you in so many positive ways. So I'm Robin McFadden and I love to help people who are just struggling to make it through each day feel better so that they can fully participate in life's great adventures. So there's a few things in terms of eating that I think it's important to be aware of. So what do we automatically do for feeling tired? You reach for some coffee or some sugar, right? And I get it. I used to have a giant bowl of ice cream every night after I put my kids to bed because it was the only way I thought I could keep going and get the rest of my housework done and finish everything up for the night. Um, and it would, it would keep me going for that, for a short period of time, right? Because what happens is you get a short burst of energy and then that energy is used up quickly and then you feel, so you start off here with kind of low energy, you get this burst and it only lasts a really short period of time and then it's like nose dives and your energy is lower than ever. Um, so it's really not effective. You want a way to have a high level of energy and sustain it for the whole day, right? None of those mid-afternoon crashes. So coffee and sugar, really not the way to go. And I'm not telling you not to drink coffee and actually I'm gonna do another uh, video later on about caffeine because there are some benefits, uh, but it, it's, not, it's not the be all and end all. And you know what the same thing happens with caffeine. You know, you have that coffee, you have like three cups of coffee in the morning and you feel great for about an hour and then you start to, <laughs> starts to that energy starts to fall off. So you wanna think about eating regularly throughout the day. If you eat, say just one big meal at night, the bigger the meal, the more your body has to work to digest it and all of your energy in your body is going to work to, towards digesting that meal. And so you're not gonna have a lot of energy. You're gonna feel, you know what, you've had a big meal, right? You feel tired and lethargic and like you just can't do anything. Um, so if you have smaller meals throughout the day, it fuels your body like throughout the day. And everybody's different, so you gotta figure out what works for you. But for me, eating every two to three hours, usually I have breakfast around eight, uh, we have supper around four or five and usually I don't eat after that unless I you know, haven't done a great job in the day and I'm really hungry. Um, but if I eat every two to three hours, I have pretty even energy. I feel good throughout the day and, um, and it works for me. But what I eat every two to three hours is also really important. Um, if I just ate you know, bread or carbs or pasta every two to three hours, I would not feel like I had sustained energy. It's, you know, that's again, those big dips, right? So you get a little bit, you get some energy from eating that pasta and then it, it dips down because your body has utilized all that fuel from it right away. Cause it's, that's how it, it works. Um, you do need carbs and I'm not saying not to eat carbs, um, but you, the type of carbs that you choose is important. So the primary carbs I eat are um, sweet potatoes. I like plantains. Uh, things like brown rice, uh, oatmeal, those kind of things, quinoa, that are slower release carbohydrates so that your energy is not gone like that. You know, you, you get it, you get energy and it, it's sustained release so it, it continues on an even keel. Um, but you also need to have protein and I found especially protein first thing in the morning makes a huge difference for my energy levels throughout the day and how I feel. Uh, and you might be different but if you, if you don't typically have protein in the morning, try it and see if it makes a difference. Um, protein and uh, protein or a fat at every meal or snack is important. Helps you feel more, more full and um, more satisfied. And it also helps that energy level sustain. The other thing that's really useful to have at every meal and snack is fiber. So fruits and vegetables, right? So if you add in some uh, fruits or vegetables at every meal or snack and I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend having a fruit at you know like five times a day or six times a day and no vegetables you need to have at the end of the day when you add up how many servings of each you had you should have had more vegetables and fruits even though yeah I get it I like fruits better fruits are yummy but uh, it's important to have more more vegetables and it's important to have a variety of food because your body gets energy from having it work properly. If it's not working properly, if you're not getting the nutrition that you need for your all your cellular at a cellular level for all of you know the complicated reactions to occur, you're not going to have the energy. Your body's not going to be functioning optimally. So you need a lot of variety of nutrition. 
And it's, it's a great idea. You probably heard eat in season. And if you're wondering why people say that, it's because if you eat locally grown food that's in season, and that's tough here in Calgary because really in the winter there is nothing in season <laughs> that's fresh. Um, but if you eat something that's more available, uh, you're going to get it quicker so that it's not like sitting in a store for weeks before you get it and losing its nutrition. Another good option is to um, eat frozen foods because as soon as they're frozen there, nutrition is like locked in and you get all that nutrition when you eat it. So don't think that frozen foods are not a good option because they actually are. And uh, especially through the winter, I eat frozen fruits like a, a, a ton because fresh fruits just aren't, first of all, they're not that great. Second, they are expensive and um, yeah, it's just, they're not always, they're not always totally available here. So the frozen fruits are a great option. So you want to eat several times a day throughout the day. You want to have protein or fats at every, every meal, spread those out throughout the day so that you uh, have that sustained level. Protein takes longer to digest than carbohydrates. So it gives you that sustained level of energy and you want a variety of nutrition so that your body is functioning properly. If you want a quick pick me up, try chia seeds. They're actually really, really awesome um, for a quick pick me up. And you can just throw them in your, um, you know, in a smoothie or add them to your yogurt. There's lots of different things that you can use chia seeds for. And they're really good for quick energy. They have omega threes and omega sixes and different vitamins. And they're just, they're a really good superfood. Also, um, don't go low fat. A lot of people, especially if they're trying to lose weight, tend to go low fat. And I don't know if it's still as common as it was. People used to be really, you know, big on the fat is what makes you fat. And it's not true. And actually, if you're buying low fat processed food, basically they take the fat out and they add in sugar. And we've already talked about how sugar is not such a great thing because it's gonna spike your energy, but then it's gonna drop it right down through the floor, which is what we're trying to avoid, that feeling of like, you know, being done in, right? Uh, so you don't wanna eat lo uh, low fat diet. And there's a lot of um, nutrients, especially antioxidants, which actually need fat in order to take it from your digestive system into your bloodstream where it can be utilized and uh, it can repair cells and that kind of thing. So antioxidants are, antioxidants are really important, but they work really uh, a lot better if you have fat in your diet to go with them. So yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a change. It's a change to think of all of this. Um, and to, you know, maybe it's a totally different way than you're used to eating, but if you are having low energy and it's a real struggle for you, I challenge you to, you know, tr try turning it around by try, you know, just tweaking one thing. And it's hard these days to get all the nutrition that we, our bodies need. And that's why I drink a superfood shake every day. Uh, not only does it give my body the nutrition, but it's one like super easy meal I don't have to think about because in today's busy lives, that's just as important. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment and I'd love to hear from you. If you have any tips for me about uh, something that you do food-wise that helps you with your energy, I would love to hear it because once you have more energy and you, you, know, you start to feel better, you notice it even more when you do something in your in your lifestyle that doesn't support that level of energy and so you, you kind of want to just keep going up and up and up with um with how good you feel so i'm always looking for new tips so i love it if you would share so i hope this was helpful and i hope you guys have an amazing day